but today we're gonna do our warm up, we're gonna do our workout, we're gonna do a stretch, and you're out of here. Let's get this Friday going. All right, let's start with leg swings. Right leg first, swinging front to back. Ooh, boy. Beautiful, make sure you get that full extension in your hip here. Chest stays up, shoulders back, belly button in. I use my iPad as my timer and I've done everything to try and turn off the, the damn notifications. I don't know what to do, like I've tried everything and it's still giving me notifications. So if you hear that, I do apologize. I cannot get it off and I'm sure you guys want me to have a timer. Three, two, one, a beautiful flip it over, other side, front to back, opening up the hips. Thank goodness it's Friday, am I right? I am right, I'm ready to rest and somewhat recover. I have to chase around some girls at a birthday party, so that should also be fun. They kind of entertain themselves as they get older, so that's that's a bonus. Good. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Facing forward. Let's go into some nice hip circles. Knee up and around. Good. Nice warm up today. We are going to do a solid five minute warm up. Just because we've hit our legs pretty hard, so we want to make sure they're loose. We do not want an injury. Good. We're gonna do some stuff that you've already did this morning with a little bit of a twist. You're welcome. Good, three, two, and one. I'm beautiful, I'm gonna get you to take it right down to your knees. We're gonna take right leg forward. You're gonna push your hips into it. Feel a nice hip stretch here. Take it back and alternate. Good, if you feel like you need to hold it for like five, 10 seconds, that's okay. Just don't sit there and hold it for too long. We don't wanna relax the muscle, we wanna warm it up. Playing around with my bands before I started this too, because I was like, I'm gonna find my loosest band, and they are all like still just as tight. I guess that's a problem when I have so many, because none of them like actually get overworked because I'm always changing them out, so they're all tight. That's not good. Good. Keep it going here. A couple more. Beautiful, let's go for three. Good, let's go for two. Beautiful, one more. Let it pull, 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 and then we're gonna take it on up. We're gonna go quad, hip, take it down, other side. Good. A couple more weeks left and you are done. Another program. My goodness. They go by so quick. There's a lot of new people in the next program, so I'm excited to see some new faces. See who else is crazy like us. Good. Other side. Good, a couple more here. Good, one more, pull it up, nice quad stretch. Pull it forward, beautiful. Feet are gonna go just outside of hips. You're gonna sink down into a nice deep squat. You're gonna take your elbows, drive it into your knees, and I just wanna see you moving from side to side. Good. 
about 10 more seconds and band goes on. Three, two, one, bring it up, shake it out. Oh my goodness. Are your legs tired yet? <laughs> Just me? All right, pop that band on. Okay, how's it feel? Oh, well, we're, we got it. We've got it. All right, we're gonna start down on the ground. We're gonna start with my favorite hip thrusts. We're gonna play a listening game. You're just gonna do as I say. Oh boy. Look out. All right, fingertips can touch those heels. We are doing five minutes of hip thrusts, you guys. Get ready. So, fingertips can touch the heels. Make sure that belly button is pulled in. There's no gap between your back and the floor. You have constant tension on that band. It's not loose because then what happens is our knees cave in together. We want to keep them nice and tight. Let's go in three, two, one. We're just going straight up and down for now. Make sure feet are flat. Most of the pressure stays in your heels. Make sure that belly button is in. This is where a lot of us go wrong in our hip thrusts is we have a huge arch in our back and a lot of a hip thrust is driven by our core. So make sure that core is pulled in nice and tight. Oh my word. I did booty with my beginner group and it's very low impact. So it's like a lot of hip thrusts and stuff like that. So we feel in this today. I also filmed a little booty workout for my furry group. So if you're feeling really crazy tomorrow, that's going to go up. Only if you're feeling crazy, because after this, we might not be walking. All right, we're going to go up and hold in three, two, and one. Push it up, hold, squeeze your glutes. Beautiful. Again, make sure that core is tight. Like from here all the way down, it is nice and straight because your core is pulled up. If we have a huge arch, then you see how it's sunken. We don't want that sunken, so pull it up. Good. When I say pulse, we are going to go halfway down, halfway up in three, two, one. Beautiful. We are not going near the ground. I know you may want to. I definitely want to, but we're not. From here, we're going to go into a single leg. Good. Keep it going. Oh my goodness. You might hear me complain <laughs> this whole time. So I apologize in advance because, man, oh man, my booty is sore. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Let's take right leg up and over that left. Push it up. Good. So the thing with this one is that you might actually feel it more in the opposite leg just because we are putting more tension on the band on that side. So really try to just push through your leg that is working and squeeze your glute so it doesn't fall to one side. Good. Three, two, last one up and hold. I know. I know. Whoo. Oh boy. We got this. We're doing it together. I'm telling you, if your booty is not peachy at the end of this live, I'm going to question what you did. Whoo. Three, two, one. You guys, we are pulsing. I know one leg pulses. That's mean. We've got it, we've got it. Do not go near the ground. I know it is sore, I know it is tired. Giving up does us nothing. Push through, you are stronger than you think. That uncomfortableness and that pain, that is unfortunately what we are aiming for. <laughs> Good. Let's go, three more. Good, we got two. Last one, other side right away, leg up and over. Make sure that foot is flat. Make sure you are balanced. Drive it up. Whoo! Hip thrusts are probably like number one for hitting glutes when done correctly. So again, when you drop to the floor, make sure there's no gap, like check. 
Because if you have a gap, you're not doing them properly. Good. Stay with me. We're going to go up and hold in three, two, one. Squeeze it. Oh my goodness. This nice weather outside is fantastic. Sunshine yesterday was beautiful. I pulled out my rain boots because it was all wet. So it was like spring, it's coming, I can feel it. It's probably playing a game. It's gonna be cold tomorrow, but got my hopes up. All right, halfway, let's go, pulse. Right after this, we're doing that full circuit again. I know, I know it's mean. Good, stay with me. Halfway down, push it up and squeeze. We have three, two, one, drop it down. Feet go hip width apart. Fingertips can touch those heels. Constant tension on that band. Let's go. I know. Only 20 minutes of work though, that's it. We did a five minute warm up, that's done. We got 20 minutes of work and then you got a five minute stretch. You're welcome. We gotta earn that stretch though, so let's work. Squeeze those glutes. You're probably at the point where they're just squeezing themselves because they're tired. So it gives you a little, a little hand. Good, breathe through it. Don't hold your breath when it gets painful. When people say you need heavy weight to make your glutes cry. What are they doing? They're crazy. Don't listen to them. Three, two, one. Push it up and squeeze. I do not want to see sinking here. You are in an advanced program. You need to push and you need to challenge yourself. You do not go anywhere near that floor. Nowhere. It is flat. It is straight. Your glutes are squeezed. They are on fire. Hold it. Sing to yourself. Do a little dance. As long as your glutes stay up. I know. I know. Get it up higher because I know you're sinking at this point. Oh my goodness. 10 seconds. Yes, you can push it up a little bit higher. Squeeze them for five. You do not drop until I say one, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. And we're going to go right into pulses. I'm just giving you a quick two seconds. Really giving myself two seconds. In three, two, one, pulse. Let's go. Halfway down and up. Woo. Good. Want to give you a little break? It's because I personally need it. Ah. After this, we're going to go right back into that single leg. I know. I know, I know it's mean. Halfway down, push it up and squeeze, let's go. Woo! Days like today when we do stuff like this, it's days you do not want to put on jeans because usually they don't fit over your ass and it's really frustrating. But it means you worked really hard, so that's a bonus. Three, two, and one, beautiful, right onto that left leg. Leg goes up and over. Let's go. I know, you got this. You're stronger than you think. After this side, and then we're gonna go to the other side and do that, and then we're gonna move on to a different exercise. We just have to get there. We got it. Can't say that next exercise is gonna be better, but we got it. Ooh, yep. Good. Up and hold. Three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze it. Make sure your hips are square. We don't want to be leaning over to one side. Breathe. 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 Oh. This makes me want to cry a little bit. 
All right, we're gonna pulse in three, two, one, halfway down, let's go. Drop, up and squeeze, drop, up and squeeze. Oh boy, we got it, we got it, we got it. I know after this, we're gonna go right to that other side. You've got this, stay with me. A minute and a half left in these crazy hip thrusts. Yes, you can. Three, two, one, other side, up and over, let's go. You know how I said we're gonna do five minutes of hip thrusts? We are now at that 10 minute up hip thrust mark. I know, you're welcome. Tricked you a little bit. I think I tricked myself. <laughs> Come up with these crazy ideas as I'm doing things. I don't even think about it, just do it. Woo! All right, we're gonna go up and hold. Three, two, one, push it up and squeeze. After this, I need you a second to roll out your glutes, and then we're gonna go into a wall sit. It's not gonna be pretty. Push it up, make sure your foot's flat. Don't be going onto your toes. When it gets hard, that is what we tend to do. Pulse it in three, two, one. Halfway down, push it up and squeeze. Oh, my Lanta. Good, don't go near the ground. I just about touched the ground. Good. You've got it. We are so close. We are so close. Five. You are not done. Four. Three. Two. One. Drop it to the ground. Slowly sit it on up. From here, let's just roll out our glutes for a second. How's that? That was fun, right? Should we do it again? No. No, we should not. All right. This is not going to be much more fun, you guys. We are going to do wall sit. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a 30 second wall sit, just regular. And then we're going to go right into 30 seconds of pulses. You're going to come out of that for about 15 to 20 seconds and you're going to go back in. I know. I'm going to give you 15 more seconds and we're dropping into that wall sit. So make sure you find yourself a wall band is on. Just when your legs don't want any more, you give them more. Three, two, one, let's go. So just regular wall sit right now, making sure form is good because when we get to that 30 seconds of in and outs, it's going to start getting hard. So fix your form. Knees are tracking with your ankles. Knees are in line with those hips. Belly button is in, there's no gap. Chest and shoulders are up and back. You got it, do not give up. Squeeze your glutes, use your glutes to support you. Let's go in and out. So pushing against that band, squeezing those outer glutes, bringing it in. Very nice. Good, push out and squeeze. Ooh, they are awake. Three, two, one, bring it on up, shake it out for a second. We're gonna do that again three more times. And you only got five more seconds left and we're dropping right back down. In three, two, one, wall sit, let's go. They're starting to feel it now, yep. Round four is not going to be fun, but we've got this, you guys. We've got just about six minutes left of work. That's nothing. So show up and give it your all. Go. We're going to go in and out in three, two, one. Push it out and squeeze. I know. When you start pushing it out, it kind of somewhat takes your mind off of the pain. 
and then you start feeling pain somewhere else. Magic. Woo! Yes, you can. Nice and slow and controlled. Don't start going super, super fast because it gets hard. When you start getting a little bit tired, take it slow and controlled. Yes, you can. Three, two, one. Take it up and out. Shake it out for a second. Two more times. Yep, 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 yep. All right, round three. Three, two, one. Get comfortable. Ouch. Try not to let your knees cave together. When you start getting tired, your knees want to fall together. Try and push against that band and keep them away. I know four minutes of wall sits. It's nothing. In and out, three, two, one, let's go. Woo! My legs are starting to scream a little excessively. Yes, you can. Stay with me. Woo, boy. Three, two, one. Come on out. We have one more. Oh, my word. I see someone is just hopping on. You don't want to do this one. Nope. Just skip it. Just skip it. I'm back next week. <laughs> okay. Last one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last minute here. We're moving on. You guys stay with me. I know it is starting to get sore. Your legs are exhausted. We're pushing them. We're pushing them until they have nothing left. Yes, you can. Oh, my booty. All right, we're going in and out in three, two, one, let's go. You guys. My legs are on fire, like excessively crying. Ooh. 15 more seconds, yes we can. If I'm doing it, you're doing it. You better be doing it, is my thing here. Three, two, one, bring it on up. Oh my gosh, that's not nice. All right, we are gonna somewhat give our glutes like no, I shouldn't say that. A tiny little break. What we're going to do is we're going to do knee crushers and knee drives to finish it off. So knee crusher is stepping back into that high lunge, driving that knee forward. And then when I say you're going to stand and you're going to do knee drives, we're just going to work on the hips a little bit. We did a lot with the glutes. So we want to make sure we hit the hips as well so they stay nice and strong to support the beautiful glutes we are creating. All right, let's start with the right leg first. Step it on back. Let's go in three, two, one. Back and drive. So the focus here is to squeeze your glutes more than anything and use them to support you here, okay? Good. They're pretty nice. We're gonna stay on the side and we're gonna go right into those knee drives in five, four, three, two, one. Standing up, you're just gonna drive that knee in, give it a nice little hold with that hip and drop it down. If you struggle with your hips, maybe they're more tight. It could be just because they are weaker. We don't work our hips a lot, so doing knee drives is something really great to add in, even to like your mobility days, stuff like that, as it does help. Last one, other side, let's go. My legs are so tired, I'm losing balance. Good. I still have cardio to do. I'm not sure I'm gonna survive it, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Stand it up. Last exercise, you guys. And then you're going to stretch. And you're out of here. You go enjoy 
your beautiful Friday and not see me again until Monday. Whew. I'm exhausted. My legs are done. Three, two, last one. Beautiful. That is it. We did not need our long band just because I changed a few things to make it meaner as we, <laughs> we went along. You're welcome. All right, let's take a seat on our booties. We're gonna go into a seated figure four. So feet are gonna come flat. You're gonna pop your hands behind your back, pop your chest. We're gonna take right leg up and over that left. You're gonna sit on down. And you can either hold right here. If you need a little bit extra, you can just push your foot back in a little bit and drive your chest to your shin. How are we doing? I see there's a couple of you doing this live with me. Is your bum as sore as mine or am I just like excessively not surviving this week? <laughs> ah. I love feeling tired glutes though. It's my absolute favorite. Love, love, love glutes. If you didn't realize that already. Good, let's release. We're gonna go right into that other side. Whoo! Good. Try and get outside this weekend. It is beautiful out there. Hopefully it stays somewhat nice this weekend. I still have my damn Christmas decorations up outside because my husband refuses to take them down until the snow is gone. And I'm like, that's gonna be like three months from now. It'll be June by the time all the snow is gone. <laughs> I can't handle looking at Christmas decorations after Boxing Day, so yeah, alone they're still out there. It's driving me crazy. Good, relax and beautiful. Let's take it forward. You're gonna take your feet, you're gonna plant them nice and tight together. Grab onto your toes, pop your chest, push it forward. Good. If you have any ideas on what to get a 10 year old girl, please share them with me. I am, I don't even know, her birthday is tomorrow and I've been thinking and I have none clueless. Like no idea, like what do you get a 10 year old girl that has everything? Kids are so hard to shop for when they get older. When they were little, it's like a doll and you called it a day. <sighs> now it's stressful. God, from here, we're gonna go both legs out together. You're gonna take leg up and over. You're gonna take that arm, hook it, and you're gonna go into a nice spinal twist here. Ooh. Good, let's do the same thing, other side. Right leg goes up and over, opposite arm hooks onto the outside of that knee. Bring it around, look back and over that shoulder, chest stays up. Good, three, two, one, beautiful. We're gonna take this leg, we're gonna lay it right over and across, and you're just gonna fold it forward. And that's as far as I'm going today. Weekend chore, stretch more. Ooh. Ooh. 
might just sit on the floor for like 10 to 15 minutes before I do my cardio because it's not looking appealing. <laughs> Other side. Good, fold it over. You see you guys, I struggle too. Like, whoo, my legs are just toast today. Might just have to go fill my tub with cold water and sit in cold water for a minute. Oh, it helps though. It really does help. If you have a sore body, fill your tub with cold water and in you go. Helps you learn how to breathe properly too. Three, two, one. Beautiful. I'm gonna come read some of these comments. I love Vegas. I have not been, usually we go to Vegas once a year, but I have not been in a little bit. I love Vegas, but I love shopping. So I like going to Vegas to go shopping. I know I'm just kind of defeats the purpose of going to Vegas, but I love shopping. Gift cards are a good idea, but then she's so picky, so like even, Sometimes my mom will get her like even like a Walmart gift card and then she'll sit there and we're in the store for like two hours because it's like up and down the aisle trying to figure out what she wants. I just, I have no patience. <laughs> I'll, I think I gotta go down to like the Northern Toy Box and maybe they can help me out. I don't know, it's either that or yes, a gift card might be the thing that we're gonna do. But that was fun you guys. Not really, but it was fun. Give yourself a round of applause. Another week is done and dusted. We got two more weeks together. And then you're gonna hop, if you're continuing, you're gonna hop right into the next one. There's no breaks in between. So really it's gonna be just a continuing program, which is awesome. So have a fantastic weekend. I will see y'all next week.